Um, afternoon. Hello. Um, first of all, can I ask to talk to you about the news that's broken in the last half an hour or so? Yeah. The FA coming out, announcing that you've been given a three-match touchline suspension. Just first of all, your reaction to that? Surprised. Um, big sanction. But nothing we can do now. Um, the sanction is there. It's, it's the, not for me to judge it. It's, my job is to move forward and make sure that uh, us as coaching staff, we're going to be ready to help our team. This is the most important. I know you'll be wanting to move forward, but yeah. did you speak to the committee, the FA, about what happened and put your side across? Yeah, we had an hearing. Everything was normal. The sanction is decided. Let's go. Uh, and similar for Morgan, though, he's been given a one-match suspension. Yeah, man, yeah. Are you kind of frustrated about that verdict as well? Yes, of course, of course. Uh, it's always... Uh, not nice when you don't have a player available. In this case, Morgan got a ban. He's also uh, not in the right moment. He's still injured. So hopefully for the next game, he's going to be available. In terms of looking at the team news, so in terms yeah. of Morgan's injury, is it an ankle injury? And how yeah, I was in the game. I think I was in the game against Chelsea. He went out with a lot of pain. He's still recovering. He's, he's getting much better day by day, but uh, still going to take some time. Do you hope he could be back for Leicester, or do you think it'll it's be always a day-by-day -day assessment? You know, it's it's always with the medical department and the player see how he is. For now, for for Paul, it's not available. Any other injury concerns that had Paul? No, we had enough. We have for everyone, <laughs> more than enough. Just on that, I want to ask you about the line and time getting yeah. away with Nigeria yeah. and being with yeah, yeah, yeah. How are they now? Yeah, yeah. They arrived. They are working normal. Um, as soon as the, it happened, the club reached them. Tried to to see what's going on. Was was a mess. Um, but what's important is to to get get them back as soon as possible. They they arrived a couple of days ago. They are working normal. So mentally, though. Yeah, they overcome that. They overcome that was a, was an incident and not much further than that. That's good news. <laughs> Yeah. Palace. Of course, with this suspension, how does that change your preparation for this match, especially with your backroom staff? Yeah, it's pr making sure that uh, we're going to be ready, and we are ready as coaching staff. Now we're going to organize the communication, but I'm going to be around. The, the ban is on only on the, the touchline. But we are ready as a coaching staff. It's more important is that we make sure that this incident doesn't disturb us. In terms of what we're missing the game, yeah. some players you could potentially replace them. In that position, do you think? Yeah, we have a lot of um, decisions to make, options, um, solutions. We have good solutions. Um, not only Elliot, many of our players went to twelve players went to net international calls. Some of them with good with good performances that give us good solutions for the game. Now we're gonna have two days to decide. And just finally, from you, know, you yep. know, if you don't mind, the England job has been a big topic of discussion this yeah. week. I just wanted your perspective on the fact it's someone not who, someone who's not English. For Portugal, your nation, it's a Spanish manager in charge of the national team. For you, does that matter for the national team, whether someone from that country is the manager? Or, or what's your perspective or opinion? I think uh, in our days, it's, everything is so global and so interconnected that doesn't it's about the qualities and what the, the national teams want for their for their teams um, I wish Thomas all the best as I wish Roberto all the best in Portugal thank you very much Nina. thank you thanks Damien I have to do um, for you personally how difficult will it be not to be on the touchline to be to be separated from your team on a match day it's tough it's tough it's tough um, it's not easy but like I said it's important is that we are ready as a coaching staff. We're going to be in permanent contact. We're going to speak. There's phones, there's radio, whatever. And, and this is what's important is prepare well the team. This is what we are doing these days to make sure that uh, the players, they are the ones that have to be ready to meet. And with all this, these issues off the pitch, disciplinary yeah. issues off the pitch, how much is it detracting from the, the very positive start that Forrest have made to the season? Cannot disturb us. Let's ignore the noise outside and, and focus. We have an issue to 
to take care of it. It's at home at the city ground. We want to, to try and, and perform better here at home with the help of our fans. And this is what we, we want to do, to do on the Monday. And, and why? Are you still waiting for that home victory when you've been because you, sometimes you don't play so good sometimes you have moments that you lose your focus and you get punished it happened with us uh, in the previous games now is a chance to improve uh, i think we have to approach the game better thanks Thank Damien. You. charlie i don't know hello um, has it been explained to you why your punishment is so much more than to Fabian Herzl as well. I think the, the reasons uh, will come after. Now look, it's a sanction. It's not, I'm a, I'm a football coach, I'm a manager. It's not me to, to decide or analyze. Finish, finish. I'll pay the fine and I'll, I'll make my ban. Hopefully, uh, it don't happen again. 55,000 pounds seems yeah. like a, a huge amount of money though. It is. Because I think often in, everybody thinks, well, football, everybody's got loads of money, that sort of stuff. But it was a time where £55,000 would have been I think a huge the, value for anyone. What really matters here is not, not, let's not focus on, on the amount of money. Let's, let's focus on, on the section by himself. It's a, it's a three-game ban, so it's a big one. Uh, I accept it, and I'm going to do it. How much will you miss being on the touchline here at the city ground? How much? A lot. A lot is my job. Is my job is where is where um, I usually am, and, uh, but we are, we are ready. Now we are getting things ready as a coaching staff to make sure that um, the players are ready to, to perform and compete.